The very last song on the record that we want to talk about is uh, the song Casualty. What we saw in the immediate aftermath of Donald Trump being elected is there are certain groups of people that Donald Trump has been scapegoating and demonizing. And those groups of people all of a sudden felt very, very threatened. We wanted to write a song to those groups of people and say to them, we're not going to let the bigotry of Donald Trump victimize you. We're gonna rise above that. We're gonna be there for you. You have support from the general, the greater general population. There's a lot more of us than there are of them. And whenever they try to come at us with this bigotry, that we're gonna get louder than them. The chorus lyric is, turn it up loud just to take it all away. And it's the idea that we're gonna get louder, we're gonna be bigger, there's more of us than there are of them, and that's why we're gonna win. We kind of extrapolate on, on ways that people that are feeling polarized and marginalized by this normalization of bigotry, ways that they can, they can help themselves or help others. So in the booklet, there's suicide hotlines and information hotlines so that people that are feeling isolated and alone and feeling further marginalized than they already had been before can hopefully take some steps to recognize the fact that they're not alone and that there are people that share empathy for them and want them to be okay and comfortable in life in 2017. Yeah, it kind of ties into the last song, too, we'll, we'll talk about, which is a song called When the Wall Falls. Mm. We t say this a lot, but The Clash are our, our favorite band, and London Calling is my second favorite album of all time. <laughs> I was really intrigued at where the band was at in their life when they made London Calling and, and the risks that they were taking and their ability to play a very quote-unquote style of genre but also remain the clash and remain true to themselves and we kind of took that same mantra with American Fall we wanted to be versatile in the sonics of the band but also remain focused on this overarching message of, of empathy I think part of the mind frame for sure was that we want to take some risks we want yeah. to we want to try something new we've been a band for a long time we wrote Underground Network if you want to hear Underground Network Go back and listen to Underground Network. <laughs> it's important to, to to try some new things and just even you know musically, like when we talk about American Attraction, American Attraction is a song that I'm singing in a key that I've never sung in before. We tried to take some steps like that where we could get outside of our comfort zone of what we normally do so that we're not making the same record that we've already made, but still have some songs that tie it together and make it anti-flag. And I think when you, when you take it as a full body of work, it all really ties together and makes a lot of sense in that way. We experimented outside of genre that we're normally comfortable with, and that felt right to do because of what the lyrical content was of the song. It's this, this messaging of there are people who are uncomfortable. And there's this really great Woody Guthrie quote, which is, comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. We kind of took that attitude <laughs> with with the song. I mean, we're comfortable going into the studio and making the same song over and over again. Let's disturb ourselves. <laughs> and with the lyrics, let's talk to the transgender community, the gay and lesbian community, the African American community, um, the Muslim community, um, women as a whole, and say, we stand in solidarity with you. You're, you're disturbed by what 2017 looks like. We're going to try to add some comfort to that. We understand that a punk rock song doesn't solve problems, um, doesn't necessarily change the world with immediacy, but it does impact people, and people are the, are the way that the world gets changed. Mm -hmm. I think that there is a direct lineage between protest, protest music, and action, and activism, and ultimately change. We won't be defined by Donald Trump and racism and bigotry. We now stand at a precipice where we have an ability to write our own future. We get this really cool opportunity where we get to play shows in cities every day and meet amazing people every day. If you were to ask me what the future looked like, it's, it's a lot more hopeful than it looks now. Amen.